Hello and welcome back. This lecture is a continuation of a lecture I gave the other day for undergrads, advanced stuff, and I kind of mentioned that this uh, particular formula for the gamma function, the gamma of x times the gamma of 1 minus x is pi sine pi, uh, sorry, it's pi over sine pi x, so long as your x is of course between 0 and 1, and we're going to look at the real case here. Um, and I, I got this one uh, in the lecture that uh, I've done by contour integration, this particular integral. So we're going to need it today. So I'm just going to show where, what this particular integral that took ages to actually derive. We derived that uh, 0 to infinity x to the p minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. Okay, uh, it was equal to pi sign i think i used a in the lecture so let's make it consistent because it was only the other day and i remember i used a there so it doesn't really matter what letter you have in there x to the power of a minus one is the same as the pi sign a pi and again so long as your a is a number real number between zero and one and i use contour integration i see if i remember to actually put the link for this particular lecture because this result is quite kind of long to, to establish and we're going to use this result today uh, if, to prove the, 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 the reflection formula. I think it's called the reflection formula, Euler's reflection formula or possibly gamma reflection formula. I haven't really uh, looked at this for a little while so uh, I, I could be quoting the, the wrong name for it uh, so do look it up. Okay so where do we start with this particular proof? We're going to use this result somewhere along the way so we're going to start of course what is gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x. Okay, I'm gonna do a few silly steps in the beginning. So, gamma of x times the gamma of 1 minus x over 1. Nothing major. Okay, and this one, perhaps I can write it as the gamma of 1 because the gamma of 1 is, of course, 1. And what's my next step? My next step is to actually use the formula that connects gamma and beta. I'm going to write it in a minute on the board uh, and write this as the gamma of x plus bracket 1 minus x close argument of the gamma. That's definitely the x will cancel. I've got a 1 and of course the reason I'm doing that uh, let me just use red pen and write it on the top right of the board. I'm using the fact that the beta of m comma n is of course the gamma of m times the gamma of n divided by the gamma of m plus n unestablished results so at the moment using that fact from up there i can say okay this is in fact now the beta of x comma one minus x and then i'm going to go to the definition of the beta function from there uh, what variable shall I use because I can't use x because x now is going to be uh, is, my, is in my argument so I can say the integral from 0 to 1 u to the x minus 1 I will write the definition of the beta in a, in a minute on the side so I'm not even quite sure myself just in case I'm writing stupid things down uh, 1 minus u uh, 1 minus x minus 1 du. I think that's the beta from this line here. So I'm going to write it in red and then I'm going to rub it off. So the beta of m comma n is defined as the integral from 0 to 1. I'm writing it in x is x to the power of m minus 1 and then I got 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx. So, of course, uh, the x is a dummy variable. So, in this particular case, I could use u. And the u, of course, there. So, beta of x, 1 minus x. So, x take away 1, as per here. And then, the 1 minus x take away 1. And this, of course, is correct. That's the definition of the beta function. So, this is now the same as that little bit of a tidy, uh, not much to do. I'm not going to do the tidy here. It's quite obvious. I don't want to just uh, do that just to subtract the, the ones. So one minus one will cancel. So 
I'm left with this. So now comes the next step. What can I do with that? Okay. Uh, this is the bit I had to look up because I had forgotten and I'm going to use a substitution now from this particular line and the substitution that I'm going to use, let's uh, write it here, is u is equal to t over t plus 1. Why am I going to use the substitution? What motivates me? Well, myself, I have no motivation. I'm very sorry. I'm not very bright. I'm just uh, a bot, really. But somebody much cleverer than myself a long time ago, I guess, thought of it uh, and uh, came up that this substitution works with what we're trying to, to actually prove. So let's manipulate it so we can actually transform this integral. So um, I need my du. Let me make t the subject. Probably it'll be better We'll have it ready anyway. So um, let's say ut, uh, ut plus u is equal to t, and then u is equal to t minus ut, and then t1 minus u is equal to u. So my t is going to be equal to u over 1 minus u. So this is my uh, the expressions that I've got in there. Uh, let's change the limits and I'll get my du last. So the limits when um, when u is equal to zero, when u is equal to zero, well, quite clearly this becomes zero. So uh, zero maps to zero. And when u is equal to one, so I put it in here, this becomes infinity. So the one the top limit when I put it into this equation it becomes infinity okay so I have transformed my limits I still need my du where shall I get my du I'm gonna get it from this particular line I guess I probably didn't need that uh, uh, that thing there I don't even know why I've done it uh, it's okay uh, let me just write it here and then I'm gonna have to rub everything off because I need space obviously so my du by dt looking at this line here I've got a caution, so I have uh, t plus 1 on the top left, times the differential of the top, which is 1, minus, leave the top alone, t, times the differential of your bottom, which is times 1, over t plus 1, all squared, and this will simplify to du, is equal to something dt on the other side, and on the denominator, I will have t plus 1 all squared. And on the top, I will have a t plus 1 minus t. So I have that. And I hope this is correct and no mistakes. So these are my limits. This is my du. And this is the substitution that I'm using. So I'm ready to make some space. Make sure I don't rub anything that I need in order to put in. So uh, I wrote that too close to the integral. Uh, so I'm going to have to write it a little bit smaller than normal. Equal. Integral, the 0 maps to 0, the 1 maps to infinity. The u. u is t over t plus 1 to the power of x minus 1 times 1 minus my u is t over t plus 1, looks kind of scary at the moment, I um, don't see anything wrong with what I've done so far, but we all come out in the, in the wash, we'll see what happens, and my du is 1 over t plus 1 all squared, and let's put the dt on top of that, before I rub off, just checking, final check, that there's not anything miscopied, that's my u, that's my u in there, minus x, x minus 1, and my d, d u 1 over that. Okay, it, it appears to be correct. Okay, and let's create some room. And uh, what happens next? Uh, lots of tidies now to, to take place in there. So, equal. I hope the, this part of the board is visible in the video. So, this is going to be t to the x minus 1 on the top over t plus 1, also to the power of x minus 1. This particular thing, um, I'm going to tidy, uh, it's going to be clearly a t plus 1 common denominator, 
when I put it over t plus 1 and it's going to be to the power of minus x. So what's on the top? On the top I'm going to have t plus 1, t plus 1 minus a t. So in fact it's going to be just 1. So I'm not going to write anything to the 20 power times 1 over that. So that's this bit simplified all to the power of minus x. And let's write the last part of the integrand t plus 1 all squared dt. So, so far, lots of common terms in there. Shall I rub that off? I think we can rub that off safely. If a mistake has taken place there, it's game over. We need to redo it really. Okay, this is equal to integral 0 to infinity. This is good because we started matching these limits because we want, of course, I did mention this particular result uses the contour integration uh, result that we did the other day. So 0 to infinity. On the top of that, we're going to have t to the x minus 1 from this. And I got x to the power of a minus 1. The variables are a bit uh, topsy-turvy, but we'll sort them out in a minute. So that's on the top. And on denominator, I've got loads of t plus 1s, t plus 1, to what power? I've got x minus 1 minus x plus 2 dt. And, of course, when we're looking at this exponent, the x and the minus x cancel. Minus 1 plus 2 is a 1. So, in fact, this is to the power of 1. So I'm going to rub all of this off, don't need the brackets, and let's see if we have our answer. I'm hopeful. Okay, this one is written in x. Uh, so, of course, the dummy variable is now t here, and on this one is x. Okay, so, but if we try to match it now, of course, uh, you can, I, I cannot really change it here because, of course, this x and this x must match the correct thing so unfortunately i cannot actually change i was gonna just swap the the dummy variable there maybe we can uh, uh, swap the dummy variable in this particular one so it's in x in there so we can replace in that particular integral uh the x for a t that's not the problem so if it's written in t of course it'll be in t's t t and dt and instead of a, we have of course an x so if we replace this x here where does the a appear it appears of course in the answer as pi x or so i wrote it as x pi and of course this will be for x between 0 and 1 and of course this now is the result pi over sine of pi x, wrote it obviously sensibly this time, and of course it works in the real sense for values of x between 0 and 1. And this is what this bizarre integral was all about, not the only thing I, I guess, uh, I mean I have come across in Fourier transform as I said uh, in that particular lecture, but I hope you followed. I'm not going to start this series of lectures now on gamma and beta, although this is one of my favorite topics, okay, I'll probably do a little bit of that kind of stuff maybe in a few months time. I uh, hope you, you understood what I've done in there and uh, I'll see you very soon. Who's laughing now? <laughs>